In 1986, the GM Motorsports Group asked Delco Electronics Corporation December, a subsidiary of GM Hughes Electronics headquarters, Kokomo, Indiana if an electronic engine management system could be developed for the Chevy Indy V8 engines used in the kart open-wheel race series. Delco Electronics had been supplying all GM automobiles sold in the U.S. with engine control modules since 1981 when the U.S. Clean Air Act required three-way catalytic converters and controlled air fuel ratios. The production ECMs were becoming more complex, and were becoming powertrain controllers controlling the transmission, spark timing, idle speed, as well as air-fuel intake mixtures. Delco Electronics used a small group of electronic designers and technicians at their facility in Goleta, California near Santa Barbara, California to do special assignable projects that were advanced or more state-of-the-art. This facility was called Delco Systems Operations formerly known as GM Defense Research Labs, a part of Delco Electronics Corporation at the time. Delco Systems Operations is the place where the Apollo program's lunar rover mobility sub-system was developed and built, also the Apollo program's guidance computers Apollo PGNCS and the Boeing 747 guidance computers Delco Carousel IV were developed and manufactured there. All Delco Electronics Motorsports products developed before 1994 were designed by this group. From 1994 to present, this activity is at Delco Electronics, Delphi in Kokomo, Indiana. The first generation of engine management controller for kart racing used a modified production ECM, but performed poorly in the race car due to the harsh EMI electromagnetic interference environment. This version was never used in racing, but the experience gained enabled the engineers to design a more successful Generation 2 controller for use in the 1988 Kart IndyCar World Series. Generation 2 controllers were used experimentally by Newman, Haas Racing in 1988 and the first win was in the Cleveland GP with Mario Andretti driving. In 1989 Newman, Haas Racing, Team Penske, Gales Racing, and Patrick Racing teams used Delco Electronics Gen 2 controllers with the Ilmore Chevy Indy V8 engine. By the start of the 1989 season, racing pundits recognized that Chevrolet, with its Ilmore engineering engines and Delco Electronics equipment, had assembled perhaps the most potent racing power in the history of the sport. As the season got underway in April, the pattern of winning began. Racing's elite drivers, Al Unser Jr. and Sr., Emerson Fittipaldi, Rick Mears, Danny Sullivan, and Mario and Michael Andretti—were driving the best equipment in the world. The results began to show early on. By October, Chevy engines with de equipment had won 13 of the 15 IndyCar races. When Emerson Fittipaldi crossed the finish line to win the 1989 Indianapolis 500, racing fans witnessed history being made. Fans thrilled to the neck and neck finish between Fittipaldi and Al Unser Jr. who went spinning on lap 198 after brushing tires with Emo, and the 43-year-old Brazilian had his first Indianapolis 500 win. Fittipaldi's victory 
In a Chevrolet Indy V8 engine controlled by a Delco Electronics Electronic Engine Control Module was the first time in the 500-storied history that the engine of the winning vehicle was controlled by an electronic engine management system. For the 1990 season, all teams using the Ilmore Chevy Indy V8 were provided a redesigned Gen 3 system and it won 15 poles, 16 16 wins including the 1990 Indianapolis 500, with 17 races in the IndyCar World Series. To prove the system, the components were used with GM engines in the Trans Am Racing Series during 1989. In the 1991 IndyCar World Series, Gen 3 had a perfect score, 17 poles, 17 wins, 17 races including the 1991 Indianapolis 500. At the 1991 Indianapolis 500, Delco Electronics introduced telemetry to the electronic system using the advanced spread spectrum radio technology. It was so popular that all IndyCar teams eventually used it, and many still use it. ABC TV used the data from the systems to display real-time data with ABCs in car video cameras. In 1990 and 1991, the Chevy engine with the Delco Electronics Gen 3 controller won 33 straight IndyCar races. Chevy's dominance proved electronics had found their place in IndyCar racing. In the 1992 IndyCar World Series, race cars with Gen 3 captured 7 poles, 11 wins including the 1992 Indianapolis 500, in 16 races. For the 1993 IndyCar World Series, Delco Electronics had been developing a smaller more powerful controller using 32-bit computers and a high-level software language called Modula GM. This system was called Gen 4 and won much praise for its improved functions and features. The telemetry system developed for the 1992 season was used, and a new distributorless ignition module component was added to the overall engine management system. Ten wins including the 1993 Indianapolis 500 in 16 kart races. In 1994, a totally new Ilmore engine was introduced to IndyCar teams and the engine controller was Delco Electronics Gen 412 wins including the 1994 Indianapolis 500, 16 races. In 1995, Gen 4 won six races out of 17. In 1996, the Indy Racing League split from CART and used the naturally aspirated Oldsmobile Aurora engine which used the Delco Electronics Gen 4 system until the engine was retired from the IRL IndyCar series a few years ago. 1997 was the last year the Gen 4 ran in the CART IndyCar World Series. Per a February 27, 2003 Delphi press release, Delphi's current involvement in open-wheel racing is as follows Delphi is the official electronics provider to the IRL and has been involved in open-wheel racing since 1988. Today, a majority of the vehicles in the IRL are equipped with several of Delphi's racing products including Delphi earpiece sensor system, measures dynamic forces to a driver's head during an accident. It uses small sensors integrated into the left and right radio earpieces worn by the driver. The six accelerometers—one for each of the three axes on each side—measure acceleration in the X, Y and Z axes during an accident. 
The combined data from the earpiece sensor system and onboard accident data recorder provide accident researchers valuable data for a clearer picture of what happens during a crash. Accident Data Recorder ADR2 senses and records key vehicle parameters at 1,000 samples per second just prior to, during, and after an accident triggering event. Track Condition Radio – helps alert drivers with critical information by transmitting messages from race control to the racecar. A dash-mounted display communicates messages including safety warnings, track condition and pits opened, closed. Radio telemetry module – transmits engine and chassis data from a speeding racecar to race team engineers located in the pits. The telemetry module helps enhance driver safety and race team strategy by making real-time data available. Multec bottom feed methanol electronic fuel injector, provides a high flow rate and a low profile package that are ideal for port fuel racing applications. The injector is able to operate at high temperatures and provide a high level of spray atomization. Connectors, cables and terminals – Connectors are coupling devices that provide an electrical and mechanical connection, disconnection in a system. Cables are insulated electrical conductors. Terminals are devices attached to the end of a wire to facilitate electrical connections. All of these Delphi components enable a vehicle's electrical, electronic system to function under the tough conditions in racing. Delphi also has begun offering services to the racing industry, including hydraulic sled testing from its state of the art testing laboratory in Vandalia, Ohio. Delphi provides comprehensive safety testing using a hydraulic test sled to simulate a crash. Services include onboard data acquisition, on and offboard digital video monitoring, and the use of Delphi safety products such as the earpiece sensor system and accident data recorder. Awards for this program: Louis Schwitzer Awards for Engineering Excellence since 1967, 1994; Mario Illion, Mercedes 209 SID engine with Delco Electronics Gen 4 controller, also won in 1986 for Ilmore Chevrolet engine that used Gen 2, 3, and 4 controllers, 1988 to 1996, 1996. Dave Dave Schnelker, Ning Wu, Ai Fu Shi of Delco Electronics, and Ed Rothrick of Bell Sports, Design of Racing IQ, 1997. Ed Keating and Roger Allen of GM Motorsports, Oldsmobile Aurora engine with Delco Electronics Gen 4 controller, 2005. Delphi engineers Erskine Carter, Glenn Gray, Andy Inman, Tim Cronenberg, and Bruce Natvig, Delphi earpiece. Sensor System 2007, Delphi Engineers Erskine Carter, Glenn Gray, Andy Inman, Tim Cronenberg and Bruce Natvig Delphi Accident Data Recorder 3ADR3